Hello guys, um, I'm here on a phone call with uh, uh, Bank of America and I think that this should be heard because it's just unbelievable what they're telling me. This man is about to lose his house on um, next week on the 11th, on March 11th and all because of uh, a system issue and negligence of one of the underwriters. So um, I'm on hold right now as you can hear. So I'm on the phone with a supervisor. His name is George. He has helped me in the past to stop this sale. So he knows for a fact that the underwriter neglected to put in the notes as um, as the way it's supposed to be. So uh, in, in order for um, us and the homeowner to know that documents are needed or whatnot, she failed to put requesting documents in their system. So every single time that we will call um, they would tell us that no documents were needed because the underwriter hadn't placed anything in the system that documents were needed. All throughout December, we were speaking to them. Um, now, they, they deny him for the modification, saying that he did not submit documents in a timely manner. We put in an appeal, and the appeal states that, um, uh, that back in May of last year and April of last year, documents were requested from the homeowner now mind you we started the, this whole process in september and october of last year so we submitted documents in september and october of last year so i have no idea what they're talking about and throughout the whole time they that's okay here we go hold on one second yes hello Yes, hi, Joe. I just transferred you over here. Hello. Yes. He was advising me that you're interested in some sort of appeal. No, I had already put in appeal for um, this uh, homeowner. And um, and now you're saying that the appeal was denied based on information from last year, from April and May of last year. And uh, according to... you. Excuse me? Uh, let me take a look at the account here. Okay. You said it's been declined since April of May last year? Is that what you said? No. What I was just told was that you, uh, for the appeal that we put in, um, you guys reviewed it yep. and you stated that in April and in May of last year, the homeowner uh, neglected to submit documents that you had asked for. But um, we submitted a full package in September and October of the last year. So, and then it got um, assigned to an underwriter on December 6th. The underwriter failed to put into the system that she needed documents, or he, because it's actually a he. I have his name here. And I've been speaking with you guys all the way from the moment that we submitted the documents. First conversation after, because we submitted the documents on, sep on September 24th. And on, the, on October 15th, um, I was told by Ramesha, ID 2802, and she confirmed that all documents were received and um, that nothing was missing. And she suggested to follow up every week, even though she did mention that you guys were running... Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're behind about 90 days so it could take 90 days for us to get a negotiator assigned on December 7 um, I spoke with Kathy and she says that on the 6th Mr. Ventura Contreras who is a negotiator in, in your department um, uh, had the file and that he had and I quote unquote because this is what I was told by Kathy that no documents were needed at that time and to call back in seven days okay however because this homeowner had a sale date on on january 4th i called back on the 9th and i spoke with georgina and i said look you know um i need to know if you guys are going to uh, put the, the the sale on hold because he's already being um considered or reviewed for a hemp modification and she said that, that yes, that, that request had already been placed in the system. 
okay but that um, unfortunately um, it didn't show yet um, it, as approved so the request was placed but I guess it had to be approved by a supervisor or not so I called back on December 16 and um, and and I spoke with your foreclosure department your foreclosure department told me that you guys had not put it in the system so therefore they could not tell the uh, your attorneys okay because they had to you know let, uh, notify your attorneys but you guys had to notify the foreclosure department so um, I called back and I spoke that same day with your department I spoke with Jillian ID N B K U I Z C she told me that there was a request in the system for the sale to be postponed but and she was placing it in escalation stating that the loan was being reviewed and financed for a modification and to please um, stop the sale and then she asked me to follow up on Friday which was only a few days later so I called back um, the attorneys and I told the attorney I spoke with Wazim and, uh, and I said look you know I just spoke with uh, with the bank that the bank told me that they have already put it into the system but now it's being escalated again so can you please look Wazim told me that he could not see it in the system but that he was going to requ to to email you guys to see if um if if in fact the, the sale was being postponed now mind you all this time that i was speaking to you guys throughout december your underwriter neglected to put in the system then documents were needed so on every single conversation note that i have i would ask is there any documents that you guys are needed and you guys uh, would tell me, um, no, uh, we don't have any notes here. No documents are needed at this time. And then we will continue with our conversation. Okay, now on the 17th, I spoke with George, who just transferred me to you. Okay, and I spoke to him on the 17th, and now I'm speaking, I was speaking to him again. And before I spoke to, 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 to him, I was speaking with your department, with Gloria. And she put me on hold without telling me and transferred me over to back to the home retention department. Now George, uh, he said that uh, he was going to place the postponement again into the system. Now I had Wazim from the attorney's office on one line, George on the other line, and George, I mean Wazim was telling me to please put it in the LPS system. So George did, you know, what he could and he put in the LPS system and I was there on hold to make sure that Wazim would get what George was uh, submitting. So George not only submitted the request but also responded to Wazim's email, okay, from the attorney's office. So uh, once I got that all, all set up, then I had to wait for Wazim to send me the uh, the the letter confirming already that the uh, uh, your attorneys had signed the uh, the request to stop the the foreclosure. Even the day of foreclosure. Okay, and even though I had the motion to stop the foreclosure in my hand, signed by the attorney, okay, it was 1 o'clock in the afternoon and no attorneys from your plaintiff's office was showing up. So I was already on the line calling all the news stations because I was not going to allow this, this man to lose his house. The moment I mentioned uh, Miami, Miami Herald, an, an attorney showed up and stopped the sale. And now look at what we're going through again. You know, this is, this is not right. What what is what is what is your main concern with the call today? The, the like main to concern the, to stop the sale. You guys are uh, we have put in an appeal. The man just got a letter two days ago saying that the appeal is going to take thirty days. And and I just speak with George, and George says that the appeal was denied um, on uh, on on the on the first. So so what? I I thought it it took thirty days. And, and he said that it was denied because uh, according to what you guys were looking at, he, um, you guys had uh, asked for documents last year in March and in May and in April and I think June of last year or something like that. And what are we talking about? Do you have any idea what this man went through throughout those months? I submitted myself a complete package because you guys told me that we had to start all over again. You sent a package over via FedEx to him in September. And that package was submitted to you guys complete. No documents were missing. Everything that you had asked was in that package. And nobody asked for any more documents until now. And even, even last okay. week... Okay. 
Yes. Okay. I, I understand what you're stating. And yes, the last representative was correct. If it was denied. As of right now, the account is going to be placed into a second look modification. Um, let, let me take a look at what's going on with that, okay? Yes, please. Okay. And also, I could also attempt to place in a postponement for the, for the foreclosure sale. Well, that is my whole thing here, but uh, uh, when I spoke with George, I told him, George, you know, it doesn't really matter to me right now if it's internal, external, being reviewed, not being reviewed, who has it, who doesn't have it. You know, until we get this all fixed, can you just please put in the request to postpone the sale so we can get this all fixed? Because this has okay, been... The problem is, if it's, if it's not in review for anything, the postponement's not going to be granted. Right, but it okay. is, it's not a review, I but it's not, it's not the homeowner's not fault. It's not the homeowner's but fault. The documents I'm weren't done then, and the modification was declined because of that. It's not the bank's fault either. You know, but you guys didn't ask for any documents. There is nothing. There is no proof <laughs> that you guys asked for any documents. I'm sorry. What is your name again? The solicitation package was sent out. My name is Joe, and my ID is eight eight zero eight. Eight eight zero eight. And you're a supervisor in MHA, right? Correct. Okay, Joe. There was no documents requested, okay? Um, the documents that requested according to the appeal review that you, you're looking at was a year ago, okay? And we submitted, the, uh, uh, the underwriter was underwriting these, uh, this, this, uh, this modification based on the documents that we submitted in September and in October. Not based on documents that were submitted in March, April, and May of last year. It was a whole new package that you guys sent to the homeowner in September. So, and throughout that whole time, I have all the conversation logs that I've been speaking to you guys, even throughout December. Uh, and, and the underwriter f failed to submit into the system, to place into your system that documents were missing. Nobody sent out a letter. He got a letter in January, on the, on January, no, not in January, in February, saying that, that you guys had denied the uh, the MHA because in December the underwriter had asked for documents and that he had 30 days to submit them and he never to submit them. And in December she never asked for documents, Joe, because I was on the phone with you guys throughout all of December and supervisors in your department and the home retention department. If, if not, then how is it that I was able to get uh, the sale postponed if I would have not intervened? the sale would have not been postponed. So uh, whatever you're looking at in your system is completely incorrect. They went off the wrong year. Now, mind you, this has happened before. I've seen this happen before. Last year, I had uh, one of your representatives looking at bank statements from 2009 instead of uh, uh, July 2010. He was looking at uh, documents from July 2009. But the request is, is you've submitted it to the uh, attorneys? I submitted it to LPS. Okay, so if I call the attorneys, then they'll be able to see it in their system, correct? Um, I don't know how soon it will get to them, but eventually, yes. Well, uh, last time that, that I did it, I was on the phone with both your, your office and their office, and it was immediately. Okay, I'm gonna give him a call. Um, I'm gonna give him a call right now. I mean, well, actually, they're gone already. It's already 509. But I have Wazim's email, so I'm gonna email Wazim right now, and I'm gonna ask him to please check the system. Is there a direct number to you, Joe? No, I have a direct number to my department. Okay, can you give me that number, please? Okay, and that is in what's what's your department? Your department is MHA? Yes. Okay, 